is Thursday, January 21st, and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you everything that's shipping out today. So this lot of DVDs, it's like Lord Peter Wimsey or something like that. Um, when I look for DVDs, um, to resell, I like to look for things that I've never heard of before. That's normally um, where to start. These sold for $15 on eBay free shipping. This is Betsy Johnson clutch purse. I bought this at Ross literally like in the middle of 2019. Um, they had a whole bunch of these little Betsy Johnson purses on clearance for like five bucks. So I grabbed all of them. And they have been on eBay, Macari, and Posh, and just no one was buying them at all. And it wasn't until recently, maybe about like a month or two ago, that people actually started buying them. Um, so, you know, it, looking back, if I would have known it was going to take this long for them to sell, I would have never bought them. So, I think with betsy johnson it's kind of hard because most of her bags aren't worth that much i i don't know i'm not gonna pretend to know i sold this a lot of lizzie mcguire patterns um i did buy a huge bag of um these patterns most of them i just bundled together and sold it as a lot um, but some of them i parted out this was one of them this sold for eight dollars basically the way i ship these it's, it just goes in one of these poly mailers. So this CD for $6 on my second eBay account. So these two No Doubt magazines for $15 on eBay. I am a No Doubt collector. I'm a huge fan. Um, I did buy a bundle of magazines off Poshmark because um, one of the magazines I really, really, really wanted and um, the other one was one that I knew my best friend really, really wanted. And then there was these two extras that both of us had already. So I figured I'd pick it up, I'd have my magazine, I can give the other one to my best friend, and I can sell these. And they sold for $15, and um, I'm pretty happy with it because I think I paid like $18 in the first place. So, not bad. I sold this 90s Barbie classroom set on Macari for $20 plus the cost of shipping. Now in my last video, I, I did show a haul of a, a huge bin of um, Barbie stuff that I bought off someone on Facebook Marketplace for $50. Um, that was on Friday. Every day I've been kind of going through and listing some of the stuff. Um, I'm, I'm probably about halfway through listing everything, but I've already made my, uh, my $50 back. So this classroom set is all profit for me because this stuff is selling pretty good. Um, so um, that's a little bit of update on that if you watch that video. Um, I will link it below if you're interested in watching it, but um, it's just a haul of um, everything that came in that bin. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about are these Miss Me jeans. So Miss Me used to do really well for me and now it's just like gone down the drain. These sold for $8 plus shipping and um, that's absolutely horrible. But you know what? I have this listed since um, I think it was the end of last year. So these have been listed for a year and somebody sent me an offer and I kept dropping the price and it's like, you know what? I just want it out. Let's just move on. Um, I'm probably never going to buy Miss Me jeans again. Now that doesn't mean that you can't sell them. Maybe it's just not for me. Maybe I'm just not good at selling them. I don't know. Um, but when it comes to jeans, I'm just like not really interested in selling them anymore. When I first started reselling, I did, um, look for jeans. I sold them. Um, but when it comes down to it, I just don't like it anymore for a few reasons one i hate sourcing them like i hate looking through jeans at the thrift stores so there's that second reason is i hate posting them like i hate taking pictures of them they're hard to take pictures of and um you know there's just so much you have to put in like the specs and with all the measurements and everything and the last reason which is the main reason is because they get returned a lot. People buy these jeans, they don't fit, even with measurements, 
and they send them back and they're expensive to ship and it's just like I'm over it um these particular Miss Me jeans did come in a huge bundle I bought off of a girl locally that just had a whole bunch of clothes in there. Um, that was a really good pickup for me because I made a lot of money off of that. Like I think I ended up making like, I paid $100 and I ended up making like six or $700. So that was a really, really, really great pickup for me. Um, but these jeans were in there. There were quite a bit of jeans. Um, and I just have a few things left over from that and um, this was one of them um, so yeah I don't like jeans and then also I'm just I think a lot of other people probably are better at selling them than I am I'm just like I'm the type of person where like I literally own like three pairs of Levi's that are like my Levi's that I love that fit me good and I will like as long as they're like not dirty and not stinky i will wear them like every single day like i'll wear the same pair of jeans like every day for like a week like i don't care i'm a very um i'm a very simple girl so i just you know like i don't really know much about jeans because i just just a simple pair of levi's is like good for me um so and then also i know that i could learn about them but there's other things that I'm more interested in learning about. And you know what? That's the beauty about reselling is that we all have our things that like we're really good at selling and things that we like to sell. I know there's tons of people who love to sell jeans. Um, so I mean, I think that's like so great. That just makes it more easier that there's like more inventory to go around for all of us because there's certain things that um, some of us like to sell and some of us don't. It's Friday morning and the first four items that I am going to show you already shipped in the later half of yesterday. So first, I sold this lot of, what are they called, mini Sparkle Girls for $14.99 on eBay, free shipping. These were my daughters, they used to sell these at Walmart, they were like two bucks a piece or something like that. They were pretty cheap, but I don't think they sell them anymore. For $11.99, I sold this lot of Dora and Go Diego Go uh, video games for the PlayStation 2. On eBay, I sold this cherry dress for little girls. This is the Jumping Bean brand that comes from Kohl's. This sold for $10 plus the cost of shipping. This was my daughter's. On Macari, I sold this book, Southern Living Cookie recipe book. Now the funny thing about this is I did buy this at a yard sale over the summer for 25 cents and I wasn't going to list it when I looked up comps because um, there was just a bunch of them they just weren't really selling for very much. So I put them in like my donation box and it's just been sitting there and the other day I kind of looked through that box a little bit and I decided that I was going to list the book after all and I'm glad that I did because it sold for $10 um, after shipping and fees I did come out to about a $5 profit but hey that's a Mickey pretzel at Disneyland so I'm good with it. This DVD sold on eBay. It's um, Greek mythology for students. This was a library owned DVD. And just to let you know, you can sell DVDs that come from libraries. Um, you do have to put in somewhere in your, um, in your listing. I normally put it in the title and in the description, um, but you use the word X library copy. And the same thing too with um, rentals. I believe you're supposed to like, if it's got like a, like a blockbuster sticker or something on it, the proper etiquette is to put X rental copy. I sold this Beth Moore Living Well journal for $11 free shipping on eBay. I sold this butterfly dress by Emily Rose. Um, this was my daughter's. It was new with tags. It sold for $20 on eBay. And um, yeah, it's a, I believe this brand was sold at Macy's. And my daughter just never wore it. So I'll go ahead and give her the money for it because this was a birthday gift. This old navy men's button up shirt, it's like an olive color, um, came from one of the Goodwill blue boxes that I bought in March of 2020. Um, it hadn't got much attention 
and someone sent me an offer for five dollars plus shipping and i was okay with letting it go and these last two items came from that same barbie bundle i was talking about um first is this jeep this sold for twelve dollars plus the cost of shipping on macari and then this bench sold for $16 on eBay. Now the reason why this sold for so much is because there was this folding Barbie house that came out in 1998, I wanna say, and everything on that house was pretty much connected. And I believe this is like the only piece that wasn't connected to the house. Um, and it was like, this is a bench that goes to the table that folds out. So this part could com very commonly be lost or misplaced because it's not connected. So I can definitely see why somebody um, would be looking for this piece. All right, my friends, thanks so much for hanging out. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Um, if you did like it and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all next time. Bye.